hello and welcome back to my channel this is Rebecca um, we've been working away on the entryway and also in the kitchen moving day is really closing in on us now so we're feeling the pressure quick cup of coffee before we start you really need to set up a tea and coffee station when you're doing renovations it keeps you sane but um, let me show you what I've been getting up to in the entryway I talked a little bit about what needs to be done in the entryway in my video where I showed how we installed the Douglas fir floorboards but there are some door frames that need to be replaced because of the old cables that used to be sort of embedded into them, the old light fixtures um, so we'll have to replace them because a lot of them were damaged but besides that I got started on taping off the staircase to make sure I didn't get any paint on it You'll have to excuse the red nail polish here. We'd been to a restaurant the night before to celebrate the end of the school year with my son. Eventually we will be installing a skirt all the way down along each step, but for the moment, um, as I'm not sure when we'll be able to get that done, I just wanted to extend the paint down to the steps because unfortunately the the plaster around the steps is not in the best condition so a skirt will definitely be necessary but just in the meantime I wanted to bring the white paint all the way down to, the, to each step. It's amazing the difference a bit of paint makes um, now that the walls are all nice and clean and, and bright it's starting to take shape I feel. One thing though was when um, when you climb the stairs you're met with these central heating pipes and um, I suppose the first thought that I had was to paint them the same color as the wall to try and get them just to and blend in as much as possible. So I did start off by doing that. I um, applied a, a coat of white paint just to get an idea of what that would look like. But um, as soon as I did that, as soon as I saw them all white, uh, just the word that came to mind was hospital. It just screams industrial, uh, sort of a hospital setting, cold um, and personal. So um, the next idea I had was, okay, well, instead of hiding them, which is impossible anyway, why not make them a feature? So I thought what I'll do is I'll try and source a metallic gold paint and paint them gold and when I had that thought I thought uh, that's just crazy enough to work so um, so I'll see about that, uh, sourcing the right paint for that. I had to get crafty with the paint brushes, uh, with the paintbrush, I had to s sort of scotch it onto a telescopic arm um, because up over the stairs there's there's a lot of corners that are really hard to reach. Um, I remember trying to take the wallpaper down off there, it was really awkward, I was sort of propping up a ladder on the, the steps and it's right where the steps curve around so it's really difficult to put a ladder. So this was um, my alternative. Um, it's okay with the roller, it's really easy on the telescopic arm, but the, the paintbrush is a, a different story. I had to put on quite a few coats to get it to look right. So these two doors are in the entryway. There is this door which goes down to the basement. Um, and in the beginning I thought we would have to change these two doors. The other one on the right is the door that goes down directly into the barn. Um, but on closer inspection they're quite solid actually. This one just needs a kickboard to be um, screwed onto the bottom. We also need to do a bit more plastering just here in the corner. Um, some drywall or something like that just to complete this corner and that's on the snag list for Nicola. And of course the door frame as well, we'll have to change that so that I can paint it. But I managed to get some paint on to some of the doors in the hallway, which really makes a difference. I think as soon as the colour starts going on, it starts to take shape. Um, so you can really get an idea of what it's going to look like once all the frames are replaced. Um, and I did manage to also paint the two little doors. So the one that goes down into the basement and also the other one that goes down into the barn.
this little door currently leads into um, a small toilet room, but we're going to change that to a cloak room. So while I was working in the entryway, Nicolas was working at building the cupboard that I wanted to hide the, the central heating pipes. So these two yellow doors I found in our local thrift store for only five euros, which was amazing. And after that, he just built a very simple structure using plywood. This wall is not very straight, so Nicola did a really great job cutting the wood according to the different um, grooves of this wall. And then what we'll do later is just go over it with some caulking just to close any of the gaps. Um, it really is a very simple structure uh, and from the outside it will look like a cupboard, but it won't really be a working cupboard. It's just uh, what the French call a cache misère. And what that means is just something that you put there to hide the misery or to hide something ugly and in this case that's the central heating pipes. It felt really great to take off the paint covers off the um, electrical plugs and finally put on their faces now that the painting of the walls is finished in the kitchen. Um, it really makes such a difference, it just elevates the room, it makes it look less like a building site and, and more like, like a home. Um, so we probably will have to caulk around this one or maybe the, we're actually going to be doing tiling around uh, on this wall, sort of mosaic tiles. So they might actually uh, hide the gaps as well, but we'll look at that at a later stage. I really enjoyed watching this take shape. Um, it just, it, it just brings the room to a different level entirely. Um, just such clean lines now, so bright, so airy with the new plugs and the spots. And, um, and I just can't wait to paint this, um, this cupboard and also the built-in on the right. So I'm going to paint the two of them in the same color to give a little bit of balance to that wall on either side of the fireplace that they'll be in the same color. We do have to finish the molding beneath the built-in as well. Um, and then this will be where the kitchen hutch is going to go. So I have a little bit of cleanup to do on the PVC um, where I got some paint on it, but um, that'll be easy enough. And Nicolas did a great job stripping the paint off the old doors that I got in the thrift store. Because I got the doors at a thrift store, um, and it was only the doors that I got and not the frame, that meant that we only had half hinges on the doors because obviously we were missing the other part of them, which would have been on the original door frame. Um, so what we did was we kind of looked around in the barn on old windows and old doors to see if we could find anything that matched. And we didn't find anything that was exactly the same size as the hinges on the thrift store doors. So what we had to do was just put on um, complete sets from these windows that we had. Uh, so that involved sort of trying to get them out from beneath layers and layers of paint using the heat gun. He did such a great job. I am so happy with this. This is exactly what I imagined in my mind. Um, so all I need to do now is to put some molding on the front at the top to match the doors and perhaps on the sides as well. And obviously then to paint it. Um, so I'm going to paint it the same color as I painted the kitchen hutch, Lumière d'Opal. And uh, I think that would be really beautiful. So um, thank you for sticking with us throughout this renovation. We really are getting closer to the end. Um, the next video, I hope I'll be able to show some progress on staining the floors. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.